it was the first round um maybe like 50 seconds in and I took her down and then like she had really good like hand control so um she ended up getting a kimura on me and it was pretty deep it was tight and I was fighting through it and uh it was hurting so bad. There was a point where I was like, man, like, should I tap? Like, this shit hurts. Like, but then I heard my shoulder pop. And then after I heard it, she heard it pop too. And then, like, after it popped, though, like, the pain went away, which is, I think, part of the adrenaline. And, like, so anyways, I ended up getting out of it. Basically, the way I got out was just, like, twisting my arm all the way around. It's crazy. But I ended up getting out. And I didn't feel anything during the fight. But, like, after the fight, an hour later, after everything wore off, I uh, couldn't lift my right arm up above my head. I did get it checked on the like, MRI and they said it wasn't anything like, they didn't see anything. So, but I uh, I already had like a minor AC tear and my chiropractor said it just looked like it was more raised. So I didn't really think anything of it. And uh, I went back to sparring after two weeks cause it, I thought it was healed, you know? And um, I, uh, landed on it and then I just that's when I just completely fucked it up I was sparring and I was going against um this she's a she's pretty badass she's a black belt in judo and she just it was a really good toss and she landed on top of me too when I landed on my shoulder so all of our weight on I just felt it like um I like cry <laughs> it was the worst pain I've ever felt to be honest and I it looked deformed everyone's like oh my gosh like it looks like you like dislocated it or it was just ugh but yeah I definitely had to get a fix. <laughs> yeah, guys aren't um guys aren't that flexible as women are. Women were kind of like crazy flexible, but uh, yeah, guys they have tend to have like tighter, you know, more muscle, so it's more tighter for them.